Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Yetunde Sani, is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. He said um, the last time she came to the house that she wanted him to make love to her and that everything is written all about her that she had, he had to run away. So with all of this fact, I just said, well, no problem. And I met with this Uremu like three, three times and then he, he told me that Uremu had a boyfriend. This is Uremu. This is the daughter. First, you have issue of violence and assault. Yes. Can you tell me what happened okay. with that? Going out. He just said I should give him the phone. He wanted to drag her, I just said, leave me. He just gave me. This is where he deals with me, the hedge of the hand. He the what? Me. The hedge of the okay. hand. This was where he gave me. I shouted that night. Oh, if what all she's saying is true, let her, let her stand. Let her, let her swear to God. I can swear to God. I want to say I met this woman as a virgin. Up to today, I've never met any woman in this life except this woman. This woman, we lived in, we married for, we married for 17 years, we lived in 13 houses. She's a very troublesome person. As I were there outside, even yesterday, she was reporting me. Because by the time she opened her mouth to talk, people see me as a, as a devil. When I say my own side of the story, everywhere, people were like, ah. So she was not telling them. So when I came and saw, she, she, she was pretending that she, she's weak. She, she wants, because she beats me like hell. <laughs> this woman beats me. A woman beats a woman. And she will be saying, she's, I'm done beating. God will judge her. She will beat me. She doesn't, she will tell me, I do it's your own, I see. My father, my mother, when my, my mother held my, my, my dad, my father will beg him. Say, you, you be you. My, it's like, well, am I, okay, your father is a hard person, you know him. Am I hard on you? Why are you saying yeah, you went? It's nothing. She will don't hold me. For no. I, I just started, I just started opening the last button. Now, my pastor was used to make fun of me. Because I could was off nails, teeth everywhere, biting me, break my head, blood. And she never, she will not, she doesn't feel, ask my, if I, I now, I, I, my phone, was, they stole my phone last, uh, two weeks ago, with my ATM everything. Go, 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 but I will show you some, some things. She's a, she a, a very violent person. And, she, and I want my children, by the time they'll come out, let them tell me to my face that I'm the one beating this woman. Let them tell, because they will call me, two of them, the Asem and her sister, Called me and said, because I ran out, okay, I'm the one beating, I'm the one running out. Why is it me running out? Well, am I just running? You beat me. She, there are sometimes she would tear all, all my clothes, man. All. I wanted to go <coughs> on, this, on the particular day. I had to go to, that was the early, early, early stage of the marriage. We were in the first house. She tore all, nothing to go to work. I had to go to Mr. James, a short man. Took the trouser here and took, got a, 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 a bigger uh, t-shirt to cover up. The shirt, she, uh, I put this up to this stage. To go to work, and there was a, it was like that. When we got to the place, she said I slapped her for the first time. She will beat. She will be beating me in the, from the first house. She will beat me and run out because I don't. I cannot beat a woman because I told her something. I said since I was in primary school, like feeling myself only school. Two, there was a two two times women, not men, no, wanted to fight me. I ran away. I used to say that I never fought in, this, in the school. The only time I fought when I was in class, class three was when my friend pushed me that you can beat this boy, and I fought. That was what called this. I was, that was the only time I fought. I told her, I, can't, I don't fight. But she, she, she made me to, I like, why is it that fighting is just your, 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 second, your second name? So it was like that, fighting me, and, and I told her, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to, I don't like all this uh, stuff. The issue of her, uh, uh, said I, I, I slapped her. The issue started from that first beating me, and when we got to the second house, when the second house, when this thing happened, she, she, I don't know, for, as she explained, she, she, she asked for food when I came back. And I told her, my mother was around. And I, I don't, I forgot what happened. So I, I was telling her, she, I, she even told me I went to buy uh, money, money for my mother. And I bought, and before I know it, I don't, we were trying to drag the phone. Before, she, she'll be, I would, I've never, she'll be the one to give me slaps. So on that day, because my mother was around, this, you did this again. So I had to give her a slap at the back, just one time. And after that, she kept, this one, it doesn't forgive. She, and she said, she's proud to say it. What she, she will keep saying, and she said, I should appease her. I don't know how to say, I should appease like a god. I appeased her first time. She said, I should appease it again. I appeased her twice. And she kept saying it from that uh, 2004, 2020, when another one happened. She will beat me, I'll run out of here. She, when the, the first time I ran out, she beat me, tore my clothes, burnt 
he took us, threw it downstairs and burnt it. So I, I called the pastor. So I ran out. I ran to the pastor. Pastor, I said, this thing is enough. I started going. I dyed my hair. Look, I, you, see, you see it coming out. Color. I'm, I'm, I'm white. White, white. Everything. I'm older. I became older than my, than my I'm the fourth born. I became older than the first born. So my pastor said, run out. Because this one will kill you. Now showed me a story. It's a thing. This, this one, because they have had stories. This one will kill you. So yeah, that was the first time I ran out. I ran out for 14 days. And not as, not as if I ran out with I, there was no salary. So when I, by the time I came, when they paid salary, I went, I came back and paid and gave her the money. When I gave her the money, I was, my salary was 28,000. I gave her 25. My friend was saying, ah, I said, that's how I do it. So I gave her 25. God is my witness. What am I using money for? They are the one. So after that, I didn't know they were planning for me to come. So once more, I came back. Then the second time I ran again, it was 2017. The third time was 2020. And she began, this my our sister, sister told me, say, why is it that mommy will always be the one to send someone down and she will be crying everywhere? And two of them had told me on two different occasions, two of them, twice. He said, Daddy, just go. Go. Because I will tell them, look at you. In their presence, she had told me naked. Ask them. Before these children, there was a time she got, we had a, 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 a house girl, blessing. She told me naked before the girl. Naked, bare, nothing. I would do like this. This woman. Ask her, have I ever beat her? I've, I've not called her Oriope, never. I've never up to today, I've not told her Oriope. She will beat me and throw me naked. Then I will hold my this and like this. This woman. And God, I said, God will judge. If I ever tell any lie, let God strike me to death here. Because I, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm standing on, on, on God to say it. Now, what I will ask, what is, my, what is my offense? Now, I told her in 2017, I said, now, if there's money, will all these things stop? He said, don't stop, oh. I said, it's a lie. He said, it won't stop. Then the issue of uh, Uremu, Uremu is, I've known Uremu for over 30 years. I told you why I go to this game. If you had been a responsible man, you always, you, you just, you just make me a, a, a nuisance. I go to this person, at times the way the guy even behave to me, I be, if not for this woman, why would you be? Because I go to her to ask for money or to beg or to borrow. She works, she's a fashion designer and a good, not tailor, designer. So she earns good money, not too much, at least something good. So I always go to her. I don't, she, I, mean, I don't have any friends. Is that baby yours? I, yeah, the person is not, she's, she's, the girl is not married up to today. She never had any issue in her life. So the that, never had any issue. So that, the girl, that picture she said, I told the girl, I said, yeah, he said, ah, the girl said, God bless this girl. Because she said she saw the picture of the girl. She loved the girl. The girl is beautiful. She just made the she just put the girl as, a, as, a, as her own DP. Then the next mother picked it and said, he just had one and one said, that's my wife, that's my daughter. <laughs> the girl never had any issues. See, tomorrow, if you can bring the girl, let them do, let them test me if I've ever slept with her. Have I ever romanced any woman? See, today, if I've done, let God strike me. If I've ever done it, let God strike me to death here. If I've, ever, if I've ever stabbed any woman, if I've ever had any issues with any woman on this earth, before and after, that she's came that I have children. Me that, we still talk. So I leave that to I leave, and I want I want my Christian to come and tell me that I used to be because all this one is saying I don't know where she okay, got it from. You said that. Do you have any other thing to address apart from that? I don't from some, some there are some points she said that I can't remember because they are just I just she was just saying it, they are just yeah just, all that she's saying is just lies. Okay. Yeah. Well, she spoke about you've addressed. Let me tell you, she spoke about domestic violence. She spoke about that's violence and that's all. She spoke about bigamy. You said that baby is not yours and uh, you are not dating. You spoke about fetish acts. I, I, I never did any fetish. She was accusing me of uh, having extramarital affairs. But I want to tell you, ma, that this woman, yeah. ma, something happened, ma. A big one happened. I want to let you know, ma. Then after that, too, the person that it doesn't go out, she doesn't go anywhere. As the children, doesn't go. She always at home. She doesn't go, even in the bedroom, doesn't go. She doesn't watch TV. You, are, you watch TV with the children. She's only had this. She pressed phone from morning till night. She's not working. So the next thing, my wife told me, I want to go and I said, go where? I want to go and see my mother. The mother that you don't see, you, you, you are not friend. Say, I want to go. The next, I want to see my friend. My, the following week, she, she decided not to go again. She said, I want to go and see my friend. I told myself, this one wants to start this nonsense. And before you know it, she went. On that Saturday, she dressed up. The children knew everything. I didn't, I didn't even know they know. He, he dressed up. And when she, she walked, she put on a tricotter, uh, this thing. And, and she, as she left the house, because that friend, as she left, we were sitting in her head as she turned. I was still trying to call her and her sister and say, eh, see what? They, before you know, all of them just come and say, Daddy, your, your wife is going to die. That 
your friend, George G. David. I said, hey. So all of them knew. They don't sat me down. So now they came in discussion. I wanted to chat and discuss with just the adults. So they don't discuss. And we, I took, I took my, my, my first daughter took, told me, I said, Daddy, let's use, let's call him. I said, he knows my number. We, we imagine she would have gotten to where she's going. I took my daughter's phone. I didn't use my number. I called down my, my colleague. I said, where are you? Say, I'm in a hotel with my guy. We are having some meeting. She now told me, because she later confessed to me, she said, immediately she got inside the hotel. Because I saw, when she came back, she came with a, with a, 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 a sunshade, like a man's own. I was thinking, oh, that's, that's what she did. She took it from the, from the man. In order that confess that she was one that bought it. Well, she had never entered, entered an hotel before. She put it on. She went to the hotel. She was even, she was, because she doesn't see me as a husband. She told me that maybe she got in. The man, the man just opened and grabbed. He said, my own, your local cook said, she grabbed her breast and put it in his mouth. And she told me how the man slept with, with her. She, she told me everything. She came back to tell her husband all that. She told me everything, man. The defendant. Pastor Owolabi denies all allegations leveled against him. He claims that his wife is the only woman he has ever been intimate with and alleges that Yetunde, his wife, has been the one unfaithful in the marriage. The defendant stated that his wife is very troublesome and does not regard him as husband. He said due to his wife's quarrelsome attitude, they have had to change accommodation 13 times during their 17 years of marriage and that she has not allowed him access to their children since he left the house for safety. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. Because of I let you have witnesses. Are your witnesses yes, your, are they your children? It's my children, uh, my daughter. No, I don't want you to bring children into this. Let it be between you. I don't want any bad blood between you. You've, so, you've said so much. Uh, if I had known this, I wouldn't even want them to be in the courtroom, you know, but then they will still be on YouTube, they'll see it eventually. The, the, reason why I, ma, the reason why I have to say this is because of people. I'm a public figure. And like, if anybody should open my, my um, FB account, yesterday, logo did not. Yesterday, um, or sunny in my YouTube. I'm a public person. And yesterday, sunny in my um, page, I sing. So I need to correct all of this because of my... Okay, go ahead. You have a few minutes to do Now, that. I will start from... Thank God, I just stumbled into this about three days ago as if I will need it. When he said, um, um, I'm, like, I'm the one behind this problem or something like that. I want to read this from what he said. Like, maybe I, he said I didn't want to work. He said, I began to remember by the help of... He, he, he addressed that the geo redeem. He addressed that the geo here. He said, I, re I began to remember by the help of my wife what men of God had been telling me in time past that it is in the service unto God that my blessing is. But I was mistaking it for just serving God with zeal, not knowing it is a call to ministry. I remember what two people who happened to be friends. One of this is a pastor and the other elder brother friend said, they, said, they saw me in a vision of the night about everywhere in the world, troubled, looking for help, but could not until I returned to God under a tree, and there I found rest for my soul. Now, I will quickly, my wife was so troubled and began to trouble me myself to look into what men of God had told him. Now here, I will, until August this year, 2014, why my, when my wife became very angry with me because I had become a beggar and a borrower everywhere. You she, both said that. You said yeah, that. He he saying, that. Yeah, that's what I want to correct. He, he okay. said, he said I'm the one behind this problem because I, I'm not working. That's what made it. No, okay. no, no, that's not. Let me tell you. Personal opinion on this. I'm leaving the law behind now. I'll tell you if you are my sister with my daughter. If you have five children on you, you should be working. Five kids, what does it do? There are other things I'm going to address. You are not, it's not as if you are a saint either. Do you understand me? Because I can read between the lines. He said the salary was about 10,000 naira then. Yeah, the yeah. salary was 10, mine was 12. And at, sorry, my at what, wait, I'm asking all the questions now. You've both had your turn. At what point, did, which year did you stop working? Immediately I gave birth. Firstborn? Uh, no, they, yeah, the first firstborn. They, they laid me off. But and since I, then, I've been working. It's either I'm selling bread. That is just where okay, I want Okay, now you're talking. Oh my God, I, it's either I'm selling bread or I'm selling rice. I have carried rice. I'm a very, very... You no, know, anybody who knew me knows. Okay. Selling rice, selling purple all my life until it was... 
If okay, so you are, you will not pay you've the always penalty. tried to put something on. Students. I'm asking a question. You've always tried to put something on the table. Of course. Now, of course. how come the children, uh, there's another allegation that the children never went to regular school. Okay, ma'am. Let me answer the question. Okay. Because the issue of our, our working, I always tell once she, once, anytime she works is when we are at the wit end, nowhere to go. That's when she carried uh, anything to say. She know that she would she, uh, she would well, tell I'm me talking she about the children. I will go, I'm going to that. That's because the question I'm asking. The question is now the issue of the children. She, the, the, when, I, when we had the first and the second, they were going to school. But we always, you know, when we change house, they change school. So we are always out of school, different schools. I can begin to name the school. So when the third one came, that one too joined. She went to he went to school for some time. So when we started having the trouble of this non-imbalance going everywhere, she now said she would be taking day. And she, all this while, she had not been working. So the one she now started taking them, uh, that, that was 2015 when we were in the, in the house, when we were at the uh, I remember. That was when she was taking them. And she took them for some time, and she stopped. But when money, when I now have money to, to take care of these children, the children would come to me and say, Daddy. Because she was singing. She even asked the daughter, the first, my, my first daughter, to, the girl was saying, School is there. Mommy saying I should go and sing. And school, she, man, we, we now we employ teachers. We have employed Abraham. We employed uh, Damola. We employ teachers, about three teachers to be taking them. Well, I was one paying. I will pay this. I will buy, buy the books, do everything. She will not say she, she doesn't, no, she got to a point. She said she can't, she, she can't do. Okay, just wait. What do you want from the courts? Because I have all your pleas. Yeah. What exactly want the court to do? Since he absconded from home, the person helping me, the person... I said, what do you want from the court? I'm not asking for stories court. again, and I'm going to be very firm on children, that. They are done. They are the first daughter, the girl I stood, she had a nine science subject. She has made everything. School sets? Yes, and she... Let me to ask him. No, uh, I'm not asking. They, Don't send me anywhere. They, they, sorry, ma. Just Step watch your... Daughter. She look at me. Calm down and watch your language. Okay, ma. Do you understand me? All right, then. So the second daughter has made... They both finished because they are more of twins. Okay. This where the girls I sat on. So what do you want? So I want to finish school, I want but what to come you? and take his responsibility. This is the reason. To he has further neglected. wait. You are not putting your you are not communicating. Do you understand me? You are not coming. You have to calm down and know what you are saying. Not just talk. Think first and say it. What do you want him to do? Because that is why you are here. I want him to come and take full responsibility for the children. School fees? The school fees, ma. Okay. Yeah. Like since nine, eight months, he abandoned us in the house. It was my apart from school fees. What else? They they are feeding, okay, they are clothing. Though he claimed he, he didn't have the capital. What else? I don't know. They, they are they are education, they are feeding, they are clothing, and I don't know whatever you can help me with, man, because this is the you don't have to cry. You don't have to cry. He told me, he told me, you don't have anything. to cry. Whatever crisis. The two of you have right now. From what you have both narrated, the two of you contributed to it. Whatever problem that is on ground now. And if you are having issues on raising the children too, children are blessings from God. But when we are raising kids, we always consider the number of children we can conveniently afford to raise. Everybody can procreate and have 10, 12 kids. You understand? But do you want these children to suffer? That's something you have to think of. So if it's with only two children, you know you can conveniently take care of. You work on that. If it's three, you know, because financially and the way everything you narrated, you've been struggling for so long. And there's family planning. But thank God for their lives. They are there now. Is how to take care of them now. Now they want to go to school. They are their father. You have to step up to that now. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the challenge. I will even ask the court to help me because she, when, when, I, when, I, when she did what he did to me with stunning stick, with, you know, she, when she hit me and dealt with me, I had to run for my dad, dear life that night. And I kept coming. I kept, each time I come, just in peace, how is it? She will 
tear my clothes again. I'm not talking so, about. I'm no, talking I, I about want to, what. Because you I want to, to have access to these children. She moved from where I live. She went. She no, went. She said, "You not have two adults." She had poisoned their mind against me, telling them. So each time I, I, I told the guy, "Say your money is not here. You Talk to what? me. I no. want to see what to no. do about your stuff." Wait, wait, wait. But the guy kept talking. Wait, to let me tell you, for the adults, and there is only one adult. They are That's two. eighteen years okay. old. For the one that is 18 years old, that's not a minor. He's, a, he's considered a young man, a man already, before the law. So he can take his own decision. So it's left for you to try and work on him so that you can build your relationship into what you want it to be. Do you understand? Me? Then for the remaining four children, you have right of access to them. Do you understand? And if you expect him to take up responsibility on them, he must have access to them. He's not challenging the custody of the children. He's still leaving them there. But the law will give him equal access to the children. Now, you want him to pay for school fees, secure the schools. Before then, you have to encourage them to be seeing him. I don't know how I'm going to. You, you don't know how to encourage them. Because I don't know look, about let me tell you why. Them. If he doesn't have access to them, there is no way I will ever grant no, that you take up I said, I don't them. know how we are going to go. Maybe there is a place they can be. No, made. sure, sure. They don't know where he, we no, don't know where he, he, yes, he doesn't like know where he, we are. Wherever he is, wherever you uh -huh. are. That's what I need. So, for the children, during holiday periods, you will share the holiday period equally. Do you want them to come over to your place? Come. They can. Or you have another woman living with you? No, I, I stay alone. Pardon? I stay alone. You stay alone because they are adults. They will come back and tell us what is going on. So, I will, I will, I will not, I don't have any challenge for them coming. But because of, her, of their mother, I don't want them to go and review where I'm staying. And she's not coming because she will come and make troubles. So you want to... a neutral gland to me. You want to you want to be meeting at a neutral place. I'm not talking to you. Do you want to meet at a neutral place? No, you can come over to my place. There is no way they will not tell their mom. Okay. You have to be you have to be honest. Okay. You, do you understand? Okay. She will ask and they will give her the, they will definitely because they are living with her. That's the reality. They will end up telling her. Okay, I will prefer the, the neutral. a neutral place. Okay. Now let the children look for admission. The two children. The ones that are going to an higher institution now. Let them secure admission because they are in between school right now. My, my daughter already had a admission a diploma, to where? A diploma course. She can even do with her result. And she had sent message. And she, do you have um, uh, what do you call it? Admission letter for any one of them? No, it's, this one is just to pay at Covenant University. It's a diploma course. Once there must be an admission diploma. letter for every diploma course. No, there is a kind of like if you have the money. You see? Let's get any school you are putting them have to be somewhere where there is admission letter. Once you have the admission letter, then you bring them over. And be, you have to be cautious. There is no law that will ask him to pay above what is any. So if you, if it's any 20,000 naira and you went for a school of 50,000 naira, what the law will make you do is like he will put some money down and expect you to subsidize. That's the way the law works. So look for a school that you know that he can conveniently afford, such that if there is no issue between the two of you and you are living together, you know that's the kind of school he will conveniently put the children into. So you get that one. When you get it, you get it back to the legal team. Do you understand me? Get it, the admission letter to the legal team. On the upkeep, what have you been doing about that? Because you have to give them upkeep. I, I like, um, for because of the loan I, I'm into, uh, she, we got into, I, I for now, 35,000 is what I'm uh, receiving the salary. And I sent 20. Initially, I was to sending to, 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 to my daughter's account. She doesn't have an account. You said you are earning 35,000. Yes. December, is I sent that, 30. Wait, wait. Well, how do you prove that you yes? are? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said I want to, my, 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 I have, I, I'm a federal, a federal government. You have paid sleep. You have paid sleep. 
Does your office have medical facility? Okay. I, 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 we have the NHIS, but I've not really, uh, because when you were doing it, I was not around. So I've not really... We have to explore that so yeah, that you to... make it available for the children to be able to, to use this medical issue. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. Your visitation right to them. If it's denied, let us know. Then we call them to order, especially for the minors. Then on the upkeep, we keep him giving the 20k for now. We have if you if, if you get promoted, we will review it in the office. Uh, can we promote Pay upward. That is it. Five children is no joke. Twenty thousand naira. Arise. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case. 